ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more of the certified IRL Riz test. In the first episode, I asked the people in the chat to help me with my Rizonomics, but it turns out them bitches failed that shit immediately and they dog water. So Dommy Dom Dom, the Riz master, is gonna do what he needs to do at the gym. People go to work out, but super seducers also go there to pick up chicks. But dangers are plenty from being banned and ruining your reputation to being smashed by a muscle-bound meathead. Will you be able to successfully meet the hottest girl in the gym, invite her on a date, and lay her? Good luck. <laughs> oh, I know, I guarantee you, the lady who got hired to do that voiceover thought this was the most ghoulish job she's ever taken, Bo. Will you be able to successfully meet the hottest girl in the gym, invite her on a date, and lay her? That's a crazy, that's a, that's a crazy combination of lines. Here we go, Bo. Here we go. How shall I choose the gym? I thought he was working the Willie. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Wait. Okay, so they start you off right off of the break, Bo. We're going to decide how we're going to choose the gym. Go to whichever gym is closer to my home so that I can invite girls back for a massage. Wrong! Look for gym websites and compare the costs and benefits. Look at... Oh, right here, boom. We got to look at the Insta page. Those are all dudes, bro. What the fuck? fuck? that one. Hey, hold on a minute. What the... Get away. Oh. <laughs> uh... Oh, yeah. This is more like it. Look at this little one. Hello. Yeah. Wait. What oh, this gym is amazing. Jam? Look at that one. Amazing. I don't really feel yeah, comfortable watching like Richard on his too. iPad like this, but I just I, I really don't feel comfortable watching Richard mm. on his iPad like this, bro. Yeah, that's correct. Some gyms are for muscle men, some are for grannies. So the best thing to do is to check a gym's Instagram pages, see God. who goes there, God. see if there's some pretty girls. And if you want extra stalker points, you can even see what time they post. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let me go into the gym and... Oh my God. Okay. All right, boy, these are the Riz hands, gang. Okay, these are the Riz hands, gang. Here we go, come now. All right, give me in, give me in, give me in. A close up on the bouncing tip of teeth. Bo, this game is a bonkers the clown. There's no way they're filming in a real gym, right? These are all paid actors. These are all paid actors. The fuck is she wearing, Bo? I've never seen nobody wear an outfit like that. That's like a... It's like a Halloween costume. But low-key, is it October 31st? Tap me in. Woo! Okay, Dami, relax. Here we go. Okay, go directly to the chiclet you like. Okay, I really don't like that. I really don't like the terminology they be using on this shit. What the fuck? Chiclet. Bo, that, that, I feel like just, just that terminology alone in the selection makes it seem like a creepy choice, bro. I, I feel like he's going to go up and he's going to say some creepy shit, bro. I, I'm not picking it. Show your dick power by using the cable machine. Do your one rep max on biceps 10 times right by her. Be social with everyone. Fuck! Okay. I don't know. Okay, wow. Okay, wait. So, I, I don't know what Richard looks like at the gym. Okay, I don't know what Richard looks like at the gym. That's a problem for us. Because, like, the question is, does Richard look like he can lift? I'm almost certain the answer is no, bro. I'm pretty sure the answer is no. I'm pretty sure A and C are fucked. I'm pretty sure she ain't trying to see me do my one rep max. I think I gotta go D on this one, gang. I, I gotta well, start well, off with How you doing, man? Good to see you. Bro, did you see Bro. the UFC last night? Some crazy shit. Superman punch, question mark kick, Oma Plata. Amazing. Anyway, I've got work to do, so catch you later, yeah? What? <laughs> Harold, yo, yo. you son of a bitch. Yeah. How you doing, bro? I'm good. Ah, you're back. Oh, hi. Oh, I saw your Bali pictures. They were so, so cool. Yeah, it was amazing. That's great. Good to see you anyway. <laughs> oh, hey. How you doing? What's this work outfit I got on, bro? Do I lie? I don't look like I've worked out a day in my life! But nobody else dressed like me. 
Nobody else dressed like me, bro. <sighs> Oh, Richard does not know how to use that machine. In any environment where you become a regular, oh, you want to be sociable it. with everyone. It's not like in a bar where you're just going to meet people once. This is a place where you're going to meet them over and over. So, if you're sociable with everyone, it will mean that when you start talking to the beautiful Wait. girls, it won't be like that's your prime target. So, be social, meet everyone, get everyone's name, the staff, the people that go there, and then talking to the beautiful women there will just be an extension of that. Bro, look at Cheek's back right, bro. Hey, um... Hey. You gonna be using that much longer? One more set. Do you need it? No, just wondering. <laughs> what was that interaction we just had, bro? Whoa, 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 what was that interaction we just had? Okay, this has me a little bit bamboozled. Teach her how to do the exercise better as a way to get her ass pressed against you. Okay, now. Uh, wait until she finishes and follow her into the women's changing room. Okay, gonna pass on that one. Talk about gym stuff and get her name. Ask her what music she likes. Tell her she has a cracking body and ask for a date. Okay, C is definitely the only reasonable option currently, right? Definitely C, but the other ones are highly suspicious. <sighs> Bro, he has no idea how to use that machine, bro. Tough, eh? Yeah. Do you always train yourself or you have a personal trainer? No, I do it by myself. That's good, yeah. It means you're motivated because... Yeah, I think I'm very good at it. Yeah, I can tell. I used to have a personal trainer because I thought I wouldn't be able to do it on my own, but actually it's fine. Yeah. I'm Richard, by the way. Yeah, nice how are you? She seems not interested yeah, that's in me correct. at all. Uh, your initial conversation should be about stuff relevant to the situation. So you're in the gym, Damn, so there's plenty that, to bro? talk about in terms of workout habits and the gym and the classes and whatever in that environment. Yo, okay. A few weeks, few weeks! Okay, that's okay, we've been... What the fuck? That is not a real thing that happens in the gym, Bo. They lie, that's not a real thing that happens in the gym. But she got a blast out on her booty hole? No way. Wait. I've been to the gym a lot of times. I ain't never seen that happen and never once, bro. <sighs> oh, here we go. Maria, Maria. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Oh, you dropped one. Oh. Will you uh, hold me worry. to take I'll, it? No, I'll get it later. So, what's going on? Did you already finish your training? You're just doing... Yeah, I'm doing cooling, cooling down. Cooling down, yeah. Me too. Always important for the muscles at the end to do that. Damn. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. She's a horrible actor! Or I guess actress, excuse me. She's horrible, Bo. Okay. Which honestly has me wondering, what are the acting prowesses of everybody else in the gym, bro? Because they got a lot of ladies there, bro. If, if, if she the best one, this got me crazy. Okay, here we go. Ask if she... Okay, all right. So it's definitely not A. Ask what she did at the weekend. Talk about workout habits. Ask if she's tired because she's been running around in your mind the whole gym session. Find out about her family life. Okay, so she really does not fuck with me at this point, bro. She definitely does not fuck with me at this point. So we we, 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 we got to start easy, bro. She definitely don't fuck with me. She, we need to start easy. Let's talk about workout habits, but she clearly likes working out. And you always do bike or you sometimes do treadmill? I never run. I yeah. always use a bike. Me too, actually, yeah? Because, like, running, they say, is bad for the joints. Yeah. Cycling is better. Yes. Right. And you know what else I do? Sometimes I bring the iPad and I watch like a oh, Joe okay. Rogan podcast. So you are one of those who want to be distracted from what he's doing? Yeah, of course. It's not fun otherwise. <laughs> mm, and I prefer to feel my muscles. Mm, that's an interesting perspective. Uh-oh. Ah, you know what else I like? Playing Nintendo Switch. So if you're running and you're like, oh, Mario Odyssey, <laughs> it's not really possible. But on this, you do it in like 45 minutes, one hour. You forget the time and get a great workout. So, yeah, I like the bike a lot. 
Again, it's better to be situationally right, relevant bro. at the early stages of the conversation. So that's the correct choice in this case. Talking a little bit about workout habits, but not too long, um, but just the way to kind of get that initial connection and establish the contact between you before you take it further. Damn, boy, I got that right. Look at that. Oh, you seem to know everyone here. Is he a friend? Peter? No, I mean, I just, uh, I kind of say hi to him, but I don't take any responsibility for that. Okay, but we seem like we're about three seconds away from getting the authorities called on us, but she does not fuck with me, not a lick, it seems like. But, but I don't, I don't, I, 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 I like, honestly, I swear she didn't yell, but when I tapped her, when I did, when I did that, look at, look at, you know, I, I feel like, that, I almost got the police called, but dead ass. Okay. Also, my man didn't do anything bad. Okay, I just want to go ahead and point out, my man, he, 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 he that, what he did, no problem, gang. No problem, gang. Because first of all, his hand was not in the butt crack, okay? The crackaruski is where it gets suspicious. Jim is important for a girl, uh, less so for a man. Okay, wh uh, what? Does it rub your when you ride the bike? Okay, I'm not trying to, this, this, this video will be going on YouTube, okay? So I can't be reading that out loud. Okay, I'm not trying to get demonetized. Tell her she doesn't need the gym because she already looks very good. Talk about food and other lifestyle habits. Okay, I think it might be time for a compliment, gang. I think it might be time for a compliment, gang. It's definitely C. You know what, though? I don't even think you need to go to the gym. Look at your body, it's already good. Yes, it's good because I go to the gym. Fuck. Huh? Ah. Bullshit! She already like she said, me. that's really bad logic, and it's included here as a wrong option because I've heard a lot of girls tell me that they get this kind of compliment in the gym, and it just doesn't make sense. That's L, bro. He's lying. He's fucking lying. Get ready. What the fuck is this? Get ready for what? I've got an idea. Hmm? You're gonna like this. Are you competitive? Pace. Yeah, I'm pretty enough. What? All right, we're what? gonna have a challenge. Yeah, times. good. Um, so reset the machine, get it back to zero, put it on level seven. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do, let's say 30 seconds maximum and see who can go the furthest. What oh do you think? Hell you I'll win. <laughs> You'll win? Yeah. Hmm. Bo, Richard, look at your dumb ass. I'm about to get clocked. Wait, I got it. Are right, you ready? Yes. Okay, wait. Three, two. I got success. Am I done? One. Go. Yeah. Whoa. Mm. And stop. <sighs> stop. Oh, you did extra, but. Oh, I just won. I just won. <laughs> Just one. Okay, Maybe first next of all, time. You did really well. No shot, though. <laughs> you should. Like, oh, so close. Uh. <laughs> okay, first of all, that's crazy. That's, listen to me, listen to me. That's fucking crazy that a man who thinks that that is the move for a date told me my Riz was L. Okay, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, cuckoo bitch. Okay, bro. 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 What will you talk about next? Ask what she usually does after the gym. Show you care about the environment by asking why they don't make this bike power the gym. Praise her for how often she goes to the gym and how hard she works out. Related to being competitive in the bedroom. But she don't fuck with me, not a lick. Say you'd like to use her thighs as earmuffs. Gang. <laughs> I've nearly finished, what about you? Yeah, I'm almost ready. Yeah? Good. What, what do you normally do after the gym? Oh, it depends. Sometimes juice, mm -hmm. eat, massage or swim. Oh, massage, swim, juice, all good options. Yeah, I also think so. You need some relaxation after you work out. Exactly, yeah. 
This is smoothly transitioning from stuff in the gym to stuff outside of the gym. In any situation where you see someone over time and you don't want to make a big risky play, you know, declare your interest, ask if she's got a boyfriend or that kind of thing, we do it very, very smoothly. So in the gym, then slightly out of the gym, and now we're in a more personal conversation, but it's still not very high pressure. So you should do that in gym situations, but also any where you don't want to kind of look uh, bad in front of people you will see often, or in situations where you get lots of opportunities over weeks or months to talk to her. What's the ring? Um, this one. This one, yeah? yeah. Not that one. This one uh, measures my sleep, mm -hmm. and so right. like tells you how well you sleep, and mm -hmm. yeah, I'll show you, it's got the app. Hang on a second. Oh, she, there's no way she gives a fuck, bro. You see it? Yeah, and this was why, last why night. Why is the heart rate is so high in the middle of the night? Because he's horny. Uh, the heart rate spike in the night. <laughs> bro, look at number one. I swear to God, that's what it is, bro. Bro, does she not like joke? She doesn't seem like a joker, bro. I mean, honest to God, I would definitely say like IRL. If this was me, I would say B, bro. If this was me, I would say B, bro. She don't seem like she jokes not a lick. It's definitely C. But I'm just saying, if it were me, IRL, I'd definitely be saying B. But we'll say C. I think it's D. She don't like jokes. She don't seem like she... Actually, I had a nightmare. I don't often have them, but I was watching this scary um, TV series on Netflix. Oh, and, I see. Yeah, mm. like a witch or something. And... Do you watch horror movies? No, I hate Wait a minute. Them. Yeah, I try not don't to. Don't do it yeah. before you go to sleep. Well, now I've got this <sighs> ring, and I'm like, well, I don't want that ruining my sleep, so I'm going to cut them out. It's better to watch a comedy. Comedy's good before bed, yeah. <laughs> okay, now wait a minute. Yeah, I think it's the right answer in this case. Wait, 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 wait. She's coming around now. Now, wait a minute. Yeah, I saw something about that on the news, I think, actually. That was pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Look, maybe it's enough, yeah? What do you think? Yeah, it's enough for me. I've finished. <sighs> Good workout. Okay, now wait a minute, gang. Now wait a minute, gang. We just went from, I thought she was gonna call the police on me, to, wait a minute. Let me get the Birdman hands out. <laughs> okay, wait a minute now, gang. Okay, hold up. So, somehow or another, we got here. I'm not certain how. It doesn't make any sense. And I'm certain in real life, you, I would be on the news, okay? But we play in Richard's game, bro. We play in Richard's game, bro. It's definitely B, gang. It's definitely B, gang. You know what would be great right now? Having a juice. What do you think? Do you want to go with me? Yeah, just I'm downstairs? quite thirsty. to you. Let's go. They got good juices. Let's go. Bo I would have bet a million dollars it wouldn't have played out. Like yeah, this, this is a great transition because she already told Yo. you that she sometimes has a juice after the gym. Did she? I also, wasn't the gym is not the best place to have a long conversation. People are often very serious about their workouts. So, you know, have a short interaction each time in the gym and then wait for Bro. the juice bar or somewhere else that is a logical step after the gym to have the conversation. It's not cinema, it's not a candlelit dinner. It's something very easy for her to agree to and it gets, the, gets you to have the chance to have a good uh, interaction more similar to a date. Bro, who's homegirl directly below my camp? Let's get out of here. Yeah, but I insist on paying. You want to okay? pay? Yeah. All right, why okay. not? Okay. Uh, you're watching that. Yes. Wait, she insisted on I'm paying. Well. Right. Wait a minute. Everything, let's go. Wait a minute, wait, what's going on here? I've never had this happen to me. What is she talking about? Is, is this a fantasy? What's going on? Oh my God. Oh my God. She's lying. This is set up, bro. I'm about, to, I'm about to get robbed. Both tell life histories in 45 seconds. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, bitch. I was so bamboozled, gang. I was so bamboozled by the fact she said she wanted to pay. I don't even know what we were talking about beforehand. Both tell life histories in 45 seconds. Say it's great to have a date from the gym, much better than dating apps. Gaze into your eyes 30 seconds, or gaze into her eyes 30 seconds. What use phrenology to determine what kind of person she is? You know, a really good way to get to know each other is really fun. You just tell me your life story in 45 seconds. This seems like it might be, be the same. You know, okay. so it could be really boring to just tell your life story, but 45 okay, seconds. Okay, good. My it name is Maria, I'm mm -hmm. 23, and I'm a teacher uh, in a primary school with children working. Also, I'm a model, and I would like to be a model who is chocolate that has no regrets about that. Okay, also, I'm doing sports. 
Okay. And um, I'm a little bit of an artist. My grandfather was an artist, so I have a talent. Oh, that's Why cool. are we not doing really this in the juice thing. shop? Cool. Yeah. And what about you? This art, bro. Ah, me, what? me. Okay. Well, I was born at a young age in uh, London and um, with my mother. My dad is Italian and I worked in all different kinds of jobs. I was even a removal man. I worked in a car park. Then I worked in marketing in an office. And uh, then I started my own businesses. And I moved to, to here in Dubai like seven years ago. Wait. And um, yeah, that's it. I like sports. I like, well, I was watching TV, playing chess, um, playing Wait. video games, lots of different things. Travel as well, of course. Cool. Wait. Dubai? This is there as something that you can use in any kind of situation, so remember it. It allows you to give her 45 seconds to talk uh, instead of asking her questions. And you can see what she talks about in those 45 seconds, and that will give you a good indication of the subjects that she's really interested in and the things that she likes in her life. On the other side, you need to have a good 45 seconds ready to uh, tell her. Hey, yo, and that way, yeah, it's a really cool little gimmick that you can use in any kind of early stage conversation with women if you're not the world's best conversationalist. Let's get some juice anyway. Do you, yeah. do you mind if I order for you? Okay. Let me surprise you, yeah? Okay. All right, um, mate, wait, can I have uh, strawberry and daffodil juice, please? And for the lady, she would like a pussy juice. <laughs> Persimmon juice, please. You'll love it. Let's try it. <laughs> uh. Why are you using these old headphones? Oh, what with the wire, yeah? Yeah. Um, but the thing is, you know, you've got the AirPods, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, but I was worried because I was I thought it might give me brain tumor or something. So I thought I'll just wait and see a few years if people start dying and stuff. Or, and if not, I'll get them because they are easier and you know, easier to use to and use? stuff. But okay. I'm just uh, very terrified. So is the sound good? Use. It sounds great. Yeah. Okay. No, they're very cool. Definitely good ones. Good Metal one. look. And what you were listening at the gym? What was I listening to? Bro, no way this motherfucker was about to say pussy juice, bro. That's crazy. Affirmations that make me uh, to be the ultimate man, obviously. Video games by Lana Del Rey. I don't even know what that is. Audiobooks. Rap caviar playlist on Spotify. Let's see, B. Uh, today, what was I listening to? A bunch of different stuff. Probably the last one and the best one was Video Games by Lana Del Rey. Do you know it? Oh, I love her. Yeah, yes. she's great. Such a good singer and a super song as well. <laughs> I should listen to it. Yeah. I've never listened. You haven't? No. OMG. Yeah. Need okay. to listen. Great uh, track, and you get to mention video games, so it's the right answer. What? That was that was the whole basis for that? What? You know, I also really like audiobooks, and mm. so sometimes I listen to them. And I was going to say audiobooks. Best of all, now I've got my own idea for a book, and it's a sci fi book. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's okay. about um, the future about. where they invent time travel, but because it's so dangerous, you know, change in history and stuff, um, it's about she how they will send people back in time, but only if it's to Bow. like a dangerous event where they will die. Richie, so they could send throw. you back to the ship that's sinking, or they could send you to World War II, like in the plane, and you're there for 10 minutes, and then the plane crashes. Richie. You know, anything like that where Richie, shut the fuck um, up. you don't mess up the timeline for the she future. She don't give not so, one um, what is the end? She, <laughs> she does not care. She doesn't care, bro. Is she interested? Bro, okay, this is a crazy question. Bo, obviously it's B. No, but keep talking until she is. Say she is an idiot and needs to pay attention. No, change the subject. Yes, tell her more. Oh, this is literally a question, Bo. Okay, this is crazy. Because you, I've never seen somebody so disinterested in... In, in, in my dog shit book, Bo. But I can tell maybe you're not that interested in sci-fi. No. Yeah, fantasy, sci-fi. No, it's not my type. No. What's, what's your type? You know, historical fiction, mm. maybe? Oh yeah, Rich, you okay, use way cool. Like bro. Ivanhoe, something like that. I don't know that one, but... Okay. What'd you say, no, Ivanhoe? I like some historical it is fiction. by Walter Scott. Ah, uh, Walter Scott, yeah. Mm. Okay, cool. I don't know who that is, bro.
Yeah, that's great, perfect. You should change subjects because her body language was showing that she's not really interested. But if you're in a situation like that, don't take it too personally because often women are not very interested in the early stages, but when she likes you and becomes attracted to you and likes you and asks you more about your life, then she could actually become interested in things that she wasn't initially interested in. So keep the conversation focused on her and the things that she likes to talk about and later you'll see that she naturally starts to be curious and interested in your things. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Good, 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 good for me, good for me. Oh, you know, I love books. I love to touch the paper. I love to smell them and, well... Oh, so you don't like the electronic ones? You like the... No, I love the paper ones. Cheers, bro. Should we try this juice? Yeah. Are you ready? I think this one's yours. This one's my strawberry and daffodil. Cheers. She's like, what the fuck did you order me, bro? She, she got persimmon juice. Mm. I like persimmons. I would it's never order that shit. Do you always drink juices like that? No, it helps you taste it the first time. You know, it's like wine. Mm. So it's the same with the juice, it's just to get one. the flavor. I won't Thank do it every time, unless you want me to. Mm. <laughs> And what do you do for work? Damn, but okay. Okay. Okay, so I got a mean slurp game. <laughs> Answer vaguely to make you seem mysterious. <laughs> Video games. Instagram. Bam! Let's run back, B. Let's run back, B. Video games, bro. I see I work in video games. Really? Yeah, I make this um, video game series. It's called Horror Seducer, the creepiest story ever told. Is that game out? And, um, I've never yeah, seen that. Yeah, that's kind of my main thing at the moment. Mm. It's like, um, imagine uh, a horror movie, but it's interactive, and you kind of choose the choices. So it's like, oh, there's the killer. What shall we do? And it's like, fight him, oh, run. I've heard about yeah. games like that. But the only game I've ever played, it was The Sims. Sims? I gotta go. Yes. You never played Mario no. or Sonic the Hedgehog? I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, you need to play I horror I was seducer. reading books. <laughs> oh, well, that's better, to be honest. Yep, obviously the right choice. Uh, fantastic video game and all good and great job. So, yep, that was the right decision in this case. That's crazy. She never asked about the seducer part of horror seducer. And I'm not sure whether I told you about my job. I am a teacher. I teach in a primary school and mostly with mm. small children. And I love my job. They're so cheerful. They never uh, make me angry. So she lying. it's great. But you know that damn kids are annoying as hell. I guarantee it. Blame her for the shitty state of today's young people. Okay. Talk about your school teacher. She doesn't care. Compare your smile, okay? Compliment her on it. We'll definitely see, right? Yeah, I think teaching is super, super valuable. You know, I always remember um, my good teachers, how they I had told a great you not influence to talk about teachers. You know, on, on the kids and uh, growing up. And at that age, you really get a chance to kind of change their future. So, yeah, it's really great. Well done. Oh, she loves your work. Look at that. Yeah, in this case, giving a compliment here is good because, you know, teachers, doctors, these are all good professions. So why not say that? Um, you know, it really is admirable that she does that job. Wait a minute, nobody's ever complimented me on anyway, my job. Anyway, I these like my job. I do what I do, but I wish they pay me more. Yeah. At least I have this cool vacation here in three months. Oh uh, yeah, you get okay. such a long summer. Yeah, and what do you do in your free time? Uh-oh, Bo. Okay. Choose some hobbies that you think she'll like. Get her to say, <clears throat> to say first, then say that those are also your hobbies. Nothing special, the usual. Increasing my lay count. Video games be enthusiastic. But girls like it when you're enthusiastic on some shit, even if it b b b b boring as hell. Okay, uh, it's the, I think the enthusiasm part is, is, is the critical part. Here we go, let's run it back. Video games. I like all kinds of things. I like reading, I like watching TV shows, I like meeting friends, uh, sports, all kinds of things. But probably my favorite thing to do is play video games. So I've got Nintendo Switch, I've got PS4 and 5, I've got everything, you know, play, I've got, even got Oculus uh, <laughs> Quest, you know, the oh, VR. Have okay. you tried it? Yes. Virtual reality? Yes, one time. Oh, it's pretty cool. cool. So 
Yeah, I, I play a lot of video games. Sometimes um, listen to audio books while I play, or oh. sometimes just play. But so it seems that you're really in, in, into, into it. it. Yeah. I wonder if she forgot the script. Here we were speaking about video games, but the point to learn is that you can really be talking about anything, something that you might consider to be boring, and paint it in an interesting way by being enthusiastic. Because whereas she might not connect on the facts, she might be able to connect with you on your emotion and passion Cleat. for the thing that you're this interested one. in. Cleat that one. Cleat those cheeks. Of course, from time to time, go on some dates as well. Oh, me too. Yeah. But they are all these so terrible. Tell her that there is something seriously wrong with her and that she'll never find anyone and will die alone, okay? Joke that, of course, she is single. Uh, she is just terrible. Ask if she can help hide your penis, okay? Tell her that you are surprised that she is single because she is so sweet. Damn, bo. Okay, so really the only two realistic options are B and D, right? We're going to try B, bo. We're going to try B. I don't... I I don't think this is it, but we'll try it, Bo. Well, of course you're single. What? I mean, look at you. You're terrible. What man would do you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> you thought I was serious? Okay. <laughs> no shot! No this shot! This is the correct option in this case. It's a little high risk, so it's not for everyone. But it's being cheeky, playful, not high taking her risk. too seriously. And remember that she's very attractive, so this kind of joke is okay. If she were extremely desperate and unattractive, then this kind of thing is, uh, you know, not something that you would want to do because she could just start crying. High risk! You know, my friend told me that I should date one of the personal trainers. Yeah? Yeah. Wait, which one? Jeffrey. Wait a minute. Okay, fuck it. Hold on a minute, Bo. High risk does not even begin to describe that landing okay it, that does not even begin to describe the 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 the, the 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 ludicrous level of unlikelihood that would have to take place for that to land but and let me tell you why but that would be like i swear but that but that would literally be like somebody with like 37 iq diffusing an atomic bomb okay no shot that landed Bo. he's compensating for a small dick He's a ladies' man, boned all the chicks in the gym, boasted about it, agree that he's very handsome and maybe she should, tell her that he's likely dumb and on steroids. I think D, Bo. Just looking at it, I would think D. Because you don't, you, 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 you don't want to be that guy that's like fucking goddamn toxic for no reason to people you don't know type shit. Well, why not? You know, he's a fine young man, so he's quite good looking. Seems like a nice guy. Could go on a date with him. No, I think I wouldn't. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Why not? Because you're already going on a date with somebody else. This is else. reverse psychology and it would work. So um, in this so? case, she's expecting you to say why she shouldn't go on a date. But if you show that, you know, she's single, you just met, she's having dates, that's normal. Yeah, why not go on a date with that guy? The interesting thing here is that if she tells that guy the same thing, that she had a date with you, then no doubt he's just going to be saying bad stuff about you, which will make him seem like the jealous guy, and then he will end up losing and you'll get her. So it's always better to play it cool, and here the reverse psychology was the right option. Wait a minute. Was that a marshmallow? You know, I dated a female personal trainer once, and she was very pretty, you know, lovely body, you know, all mm -hmm. of that stuff. But there was one thing about it, it's quite funny actually, everyone laughed at me. I didn't know at first, but she made these manly noises, like in the gym, she'd be going, <laughs> like a man. And actually she did the same in bed. <laughs> yeah, so it was, it was a bit of a disaster. And then later there was all these stories that she was possessed by some like male spirit, maybe a bodybuilder or something, and that was why she was... <laughs> it's well trippy that was, anyway. So what kind of women do you like? Kind of oh. do I? Well, I would say that I like my women like I like my... Uh-huh. Like I like my... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I like my women like I like my olive oil. Slippery and wet. I like my women like I like my dogs. Zezima Jones. I like my women like I like my video games. Oh, enthusiastic. Oh, but he does like video games or some bitch. Okay, now this horny motherfucker likes video games now. I like my women like I like my coffee. Black.
<laughs> okay, so that's not a good option. Okay, so definitely not D. Because uh, what other what what other angle do you take, Dabo? What other angle do you take? Coffee. So it's definitely not coffee. A and B, too suspicious. It's definitely C, bro. It's definitely C, because we already talked about video games. She knows I like video games. Definitely C. Video games. Mm, challenging. Great to look at. And can keep me interested for a long time. Mm. Cool. That's great. She liked that, bro. Yep, good choice. And in this level, video games is always the right answer. So well done. And also, I do modeling. What, yeah. what kind of uh, modeling? I'm shooting for magazines and for commercials. <gasps> oh, great stuff. Yeah. Uh, do you do anything else? Um, well, I do have a lot of really good business ideas. Uh-oh. Huh? Uh -huh. Which one? She don't care, Mo. Maybe? I, I, can't, I can't really tell if she cares or not, boys. Uh, I, need, I need a little bit more intel, Mo. I think I need a little bit more intel. This one, this one, this one will go either way. Uber for pretty girls. Women rental app. What? What's snacks? CBD oil for anxiety on dates. Sex education products. Okay, this one, I feel I could go anyway, Bo. Uber for pretty girls. Let's ride it back. I've got this great idea. It's um, Uber for pretty girls. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, <laughs> but basically um, pretty girls can sign up to the app and then you have all of the drivers like Uber, but the girls don't pay because oh. the drivers are all kinds of guys. You know, it could be a guy with a Lamborghini or a guy with a, not a Lamborghini. And they're, um, they need to drive the girls for free, but they get to chat with them on the way. So oh. if they're single, you know, there's a chance to meet someone. Hell because guys no. always want to do things for pretty girls. And pretty girls, why not take, you know, get something for free? Yeah. It's all secure, <laughs> you know, you've got his passport. So if he does anything, you can kind of report him like, you know, this guy's harassing me in the app and stuff, and yeah, I think it's, it's great. It's a nice idea. <laughs> That's Maybe not billion dollars, but I think, dumb... you know, 500 milli. That literally <laughs> would make no money. Yeah. There's no money exchange. He said that himself. That's actually a great billion dollar idea, I think. So feel free to steal it. Richard, are you the stupidest person that's ever lived? So you said that you are very good in video games. Yeah, so pretty good. You but... must be very fast with your fingers. You know? Yes, oh, I'm pretty good with wait. my fingers. Wait. Oh! Okay, 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 take her by the hand and tell her that you are glad you got this opportunity to spend time with her. Use Brian Watson's tingler routine. Who the fuck is Brian Watson and what in the living hell is a tingler routine? Stick your finger up her nose. Not doing that. Bet you can't touch her belly button in an unusual way. It's, de it's definitely Bebo. Let let's see. Let's see what's pop with the tingler routine. Do you want to try something? Yes. Right, listen. When when I was at school, we used to do this. So basically, give me your arm, this one, mm -hmm. and then close your eyes, and I'm gonna touch the inside of your arm, and you need to tell me stop. Oh, okay. When I get to the inside of the elbow, okay. But we're just doing this at the juice bar, this? Stop. What? Not already. Look. <laughs> she's fucking it horrible. Like elbow. <laughs> Wait, she's dog That's shit. It was game. really close. Yeah, it feels closer than it is. That's that's the idea. See, that's the strange thing. I but normally I... most people say it here. And you said it here. I suppose I'm very nervous. <laughs> nervous, sensitive. I don't know. I'm going to have to Google what that means. Uh -huh. Not a bad way to get a little bit closer. In these uh, in Super Seducer games, we have a lot of gimmicks that allow you to kind of escalate the touch and do various things. And they're for guys that lack the confidence or don't know exactly how to bridge that gap and start touching. So if you need that, then this is one of those that you can use. The tingler routine. Um, um, time to pay. Yeah, so yeah. it's on me, remember? Uh, thanks so much, I'll get the next one. Wait a minute. Wait, I'm still wondering. Hold on a second, Bo. This motherfucker said they were in Dubai. How could that be possible, Bo? Where is everybody native to Dubai? I have not seen one Arabic person this entire time, Bo. How, 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 how could they be in Dubai? This impossible. Impossible. Bo, absolutely bamboozled. Absolutely bamboozled. Why, 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 why does Richard not have any representation in this fucking game, bro? So, so we just paid. Say you better be going, L. Try to take 
Wait, try to stay with her a little longer. Maybe offer to drive her home. Definitely B, Bo. Definitely B. B is absolutely the right option. But Cleet hasn't hasn't led me astray yet, so we'll go A. Okay, let's see it. I guess we better be going. <laughs> okay. I and I'm a virgin another day of my life. God bless America, Bo. Run it back. I should probably get going actually, so yeah. Okay. Um I'm not gonna jink that. It wasn't very nice. What the fuck is that? What she just this do? This is counterintuitive, and often counterintuitive things work. So you're no, gonna be the one don't. that cuts it short, and that's much better than sticking around, hanging on, waiting for more. Similar to the guy that keeps messaging her until she says she's busy and she needs to do something else. You being the one that ends the interaction, ideally on a high point, is more likely to leave her wanting more and thinking, no. oh, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking about that guy. I wanted to talk about more stuff, but he's left. Rather than, oh my God, it's been so long. I just want to go home. Bro. Bro, this. Oh, okay. Now see, this, ladies and gentlemen, is a critical piece of intel that they did not allude to, motherfucker. This is, this is, this is a critical piece of intel they did not allude to. They acted like that was it. Good night. Sayonara. Adios, motherfucker. Get tossed. But they got a what are you gonna do next type situation. Okay, let's see, what to do next. Ask for her number, invite her on a date, invite her to make love in the cupboard. Okay, I'm definitely, it's definitely the date, bro. I, I do agree with this one. Maria, you know what? I had a really nice time with you and we should go on a date sometime. Yeah. Yeah, what'd you say? I'd It'd love good, to. Right? Yeah. All right, cool, um, let's, go. let's go, I'll walk you outside. Yeah, let's go for a walk, Layla. Oh, all right. Damn! Okay, you knew that was going to be a W, but we had it locked in. Damn, five stars, gang. Yo. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. 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 Wait! Where's the part where we get laid? We didn't get the best ending. We got the date good ending. Okay, now wait a minute now. We got a we got a date. But this ain't the best ending. Wait a minute. Let me let me let me chapter select. I don't want to play the whole thing. Let me jump straight to Wait a minute. No, I want to jump straight to um I want to jump straight to where is it? Can I just go straight to this this, this question? You can't they make you replay the whole thing. I'm not doing that. They make you replay that whole thing. That's an L, bro. That's an L, bro. We didn't even get laid. I mean, listen. We did have a mean Rizonomics game. Okay, we did have a mean Rizonomics game, but not quite the not quite the later nomics. Okay, the 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 the, the, the nomics. Okay, you know what the fuck I mean. We didn't get laid, bitch. Okay, so y'all, that was episode two of Rizonomics with Dommy Dom McDomerson. Y'all enjoyed the video. You know what to do. Like this shit. Subscribe for some more shit, and let me know what else y'all want to see. That's it. Goodbye.